Hey, in this video, we're going to do a little soldering. Uh, it's, this video is not intended to be a complete tutorial on soldering techniques, but just to show an example of how I would solder this small uh, SO8 uh, surface mount package. I've got this little kind of breakout coupon that I'm going to solder it to. This is kind of in preparation for another project that I've been working on. Uh, anytime I do surface mount soldering like this, I uh, almost always will use some additional liquid flux. I just have some mounted in this little bottle with a needle on the end of it here. Makes it easy to uh, to apply to the board that I'm working on. And flux is really great for uh, basically adding uh, you know, some enhanced ability for the solder to wet. And that's the ability for it to kind of uh, evenly melt and adhere uh, to uh, the surface and uh, provide a nice clean connection and uh, really helps to make the connections to, uh, to work out really well. So uh, even though I use solder that has got uh, you know flux you know, kind of in the core of the solder, uh, adding a little bit extra flux especially for surface mount is, is always really helpful. So I usually begin on the surface mount stuff is by positioning the part as well as I can on the pads okay for the surface mount and uh, it takes a little bit of tweaking and uh, or harder to do on camera but, uh, but I try to get them basically lined up and usually there's enough solder on the leads themselves and uh, on the board uh, to uh, to kind of make that first initial tack and what I normally do is we'll hold down the part to kind of keep it still and tack a corner in place just touch the soldering iron to it and that's enough usually just to tack it so that now it doesn't really want to move and uh, and then I'll if I, if I need to I'll tweak it around a little bit and then tack the opposite corner the same way so now with two corners kind of tacked in place the part is really kind of stuck it's not going to move and then I'll go in with uh, with the solder and start uh, really soldering it you know, properly with uh, with the iron now the tip of this iron is a little bit big for this work but uh, but it can still work and the key is to try to make contact to both the pad and the lead and I usually just kind of ro roll right up to it add a touch, a touch of solder to it and then pull off and now that, that uh, corner is done really well and I'll often go opposite sides here to kind of avoid overheating one particular part of the, the part at any point in time and I'll go back to do all four corners adding just a little bit of solder to them to kind of get them in there dress the solder up onto the lead and now I'll just do the middle ones here okay and the solder as you can see is you know kind of boiling away when I uh, stick the soldering iron down here but it's really doing its job in helping these connections to wet really well and get nice shiny joints let's do the two back here a little bit harder to do on the camera here so I'm not doing as good of a job as I would like to but this is the basic technique that I follow and the uh, the flux is doing a nice job in helping to keep the solder kind of contained. Uh, without the flux, sometimes you'd get solder bridges, but the flux really helps to kind of keep the solder all balled up and wetted together. So that's the basic technique. Um, you know, tack a corner in place to kind of get it fixed to where you want it to be so it doesn't move. Tack an opposite corner so it doesn't move. Then kind of go around and, and make all of your connections. Uh, for finer pitch devices, you know, like this, you uh, know, finer pitch than this SOIC, there's another te neat technique called drag soldering, where you create a little ball of solder and just run the iron past, you know, all the leads. And if you've got enough flux in there, the, the solder will tend to ball up just on the metal and not cause bridges. So um, maybe we'll do that in a future video. But that's uh, the technique I typically follow for soldering down uh, SOIC packages, and I hope you find it helpful. Uh, thanks for watching.